Hey everyone, it's Mark from the Wave Shop. Today I'm going to show you how to create crossfades over multiple audio regions in Logic Pro. I'll start by showing you an easy way to add fades as you're working through your session, and then I'll show you how to do it at the end. So the way to add crossfades as you're working is to adjust your drag mode. And let me show you what I mean by that. So if I zoom in here and see where these two audio files meet, right here and here, if I come up to this drag mode, you can see we have overlap, no overlap, crossfade, shuffle right, shuffle left. So with overlap, if I move this audio region to the left, I've overlapped the two audio regions. Makes sense, doesn't it? No overlap, they just cut into each other, as you can see. But then here we have crossfade. Now with crossfade, whenever you move an audio region over one next to it, it will automatically create a crossfade there. So this is the drag mode that I most often work in because it makes crossfading easy. Now let's say you haven't used that drag mode and you've pretty much just finished this song and you're ready to print the stems, but you don't have any crossfades. Let me show you how to do that. It's not as easy as it is in Pro Tools, but there is a way to do it. So I'm gonna select all the audio regions. You can highlight them or hit Command A. Now I'm gonna go over to the inspector. That's this window to the left that pops open. You see we have 159 audio regions selected. So it's over here that we can add our crossfades. Where this asterisk is, you can click on that and select which type of fade you want. You can do a fade out, you can do a crossfade, you can do an equal power crossfade, and an S fade. So I'm gonna select crossfade, and then click in this blank area to the right of that and drag up. So now as you can see, it's created crossfades in between the regions that are touching. Let me show you what the different types of crossfades look like. So right here we have an X fade. Here's an equal power fade. As you can see, it kind of curves up like that. And that will actually be the most natural sounding fade in some instances, because you won't get a volume dip in the middle. And then lastly, we have an S fade. And if you adjust the curve by dragging up or down, you can see why that's called an S fade. You can also go negative and change it completely. So those are the different types of fades. And you can also change the sound of the fade by adjusting the curve. And you can do that by clicking and dragging next to the word curve. So you can see how that changes right here. Same with the equal power fade. So what you're doing is you're adjusting the character of the fade by controlling how fast one fades out and the other fades in. So there you have it. We have crossfades on all the audio regions that are touching each other. I hope this helps you. If you have any more questions, give me a shout out in the comments below and I'll try to answer as many as I can. Thanks.